Okay, so let's jump right into it. So exit strategies. Today I have my expert guest. She's going to talk to you all about exit strategies and why it's important for you to have an exit strategy. I don't care if you're just starting out in your business or if you're midway in your business or you're kind of in the sunset of your business thinking, what's my next move from here? So exit strategies is a timely conversation that we're going to talk about right now. Thanks for joining me, Sankita. How are you? Good. Thanks for having me. This is a great conversation. I'm always finding people to align with to have these conversations because I'm the boring person at cocktail parties. Like, what's your exit? What's going well, on in you. your life? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's you and me in the corner. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's just jump right into it. What is an exit strategy? I know that's a, a scary term to a lot of people. They're like, what? I love my business. I don't want to leave yet. What is an exit strategy? Your exit strategy is just that. What is your strategy to exit your leadership of your company? Two things. And the second thing is, what is the your strategy for exiting your company in the sense that your company is either dissolved or sold or acquired or merged with another company? So there's two parallel paths here. Your leadership and your exit of that company and then your company's next step. Right. Okay, so I think this is where people get um, kind of confused is like, well, if I leave the company, then there's no company. I go, oh, big red flag. You are not your company. Okay, you are a whole separate being. You're the person that probably came up with the company or you currently lead it. Mm -hmm. Right. And a lot of people get that mistaken. If yes. First, I tell people, if you feel that you are the company and it ends when you leave, then something is terribly wrong. You haven't been doing your job right as a CEO. You Absolutely. need to be laying that foundation so that you can eventually lead. That's why we have succession plans, which we'll talk about another time. So how important is it to have an exit strategy no matter what level you are in your business? Well, I'm the outlier here where I think you should have your exit strategy before you start. So actually you want to exit before you start in that mm -hmm. sense. And the reason being because it allows you to set the course of your company for the next while so you're never really guessing as to how to scale when you have your exit strategy by default you know how to scale okay because you've got those steps on there and most people are like well lady i just started this company okay and i'm just still figuring it out the first year is crazy and so forth it doesn't have to be complex it doesn't have to be sexy it just needs to be okay in five years i want to sell this company to this conglomerate or i want to you know keep it for my son or my daughter to carry on, or something in that nature where you can see your exit in the horizon. That's yeah. what that is. So it's kind of like your North Star. Your next year or the year after or 12 month plan, 24 month plan should not be your North Star. Uh -huh. That is your guiding light, but your North Star is your exit strategy, right. is your actual exit date. When I say exit strategy, it's a whole equation here, right? So mm -hmm. that just means like exit strategy, exit plan, they're synonymous. What that means is the exit date and the dollar amount that you want to leave the company, sell the company or merge the company or dissolve the company and take what's left. Like I'm going to dissolve the company and it's worth $5 million. I want to leave in five years. Mm -hmm. Right, right. As simple so as that. That's a, a good point because I, you mentioned about whether you're going to pass it on to like your heirs, your next generation. I think a lot of people think an exit strategy means that's it, I'm done, shut down the business, I'm closed, and that's it. They don't think about grooming like their heirs, their children, right. or right. nieces and nephews or whoever. So that's an important point to, to talk about. Um, I want to get into that in a minute, but how many different types of exit are there? Because I know that in the VC community, we talk about exit in terms of investors, like getting their money yeah. when the company sells or explodes in revenue or whatever. But how many actual types of exits are there that you should be thinking about? There's generally, there's a few. Okay, number one is sell. You sell your company to someone else, okay? Your entire company. There's two types of sales. A purchase sale agreement where you sell the company and the assets. And then there's an asset sale agreement where the company's assets are the only things being sold. Mm -hmm. So there's two separate things there. Then there's a merger where you, it's kind of like an elevated joint partnership where you take mm -hmm. your company and another person's company and you put them together and you create a whole merger. Okay, that's mm -hmm. that. Acquisition is very simple to sale where somebody acquires you, they swallow you up. Okay, mm -hmm. that's one part. That's almost the same thing as sale. And then there's dissolution. Dissolution is you basically dissolve the company, 
sell off the assets to different people. It doesn't have to be one buyer or you just basically, you know, it's a fire sale. And mm -hmm. then you basically get rid of everything and you recoup the money or the uh, in-kind type of um, valuation for yourself as well. So the company and the assets are no more. Nobody owns it. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are the main ones you need to be concerned about. Sale, merger, dissolution. Okay.